Dr. Savannah's coming over today to meet Higgins and all the different reptiles. I absolutely love her to pieces. She's pretty important to us. Hello. Welcome. How I'm are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for making the drive. Yeah, no worries. When they hear about some of the animals that we keep, especially Higgins, like where do you fit an enclosure that size? And I say, well, she's in our basement, but our basement's been converted to a reptile space. Oh yeah, you can tell the humidity difference. Just watch your head here on this beam, and then this beam, this beam here as well oh, yeah. as you're walking around. All so. right, perfect. We have about 14 different enclosures, and we do have about 28 animals. Uh, some geckos, snakes, tortoises, and some amphibians, some different frogs. Oh, but their eyes are just so fantastic. You're pretty stinking cute, little weirdo. She's like, you are not taking me out of here again. Oh, there she is. Again. <laughs> uh, we've got such a variety of animals because we built an education program for schools. If kids love the animals, they will learn to love their environments and provide enrichment for their own animals. Yeah. Nice Pac-Man, look at him chilling out. <laughs> He's hanging out. Baby bullfrog, young bullfrog. Oh, nice. He's little. He's going to get big. I know. They He's said it'll take about two years to get big. <laughs> yeah, just a baby frog. Oh, they're so <laughs> small. Look at him. Oh, let him go. Get it. We're teaching the kids about the reptiles and amphibians themselves. But we're also teaching them topics such as physical differences and judging people before you get to know them. So Ooh. he's only a yearling. So this is a boa constrictor, which is going to be the same as the boa out in the garage. I just don't play with dogs. <laughs> so this is Tango. She's 13-year-old oh, female nice. boa. Awesome. Okay, let's go put her in the tree. We'll put her in the grass and she'll cruise around. Nice. Um, very slow pace. Definitely not the young boa. Make sure I don't drop her. <laughs> well, let's go check it out, honey. All right. And put her in her oh, tree. Man, you're so chunky. <laughs> Tango loves to climb trees, so we were able to bring her outside and put her in the tree and let her crawl around. My okay, but. so it's like my favorite, but like least favorite is like when you're like half asleep, like I'd get up like middle of the night, go get a drink of water, whatever. And I look over to the enclosure and like eyes lock with her. And there's like this primal like, oh, yeah, oh no. And I'm like, oh, it's just my snake. I want the world to know that reptiles can be fantastic pet options in the right hands. Do the proper research and they can be a great alternative to people suffering from anxiety, depression, or even allergies.